Princess Mrs. Sarah Debussy Chausson, OFR, was born in Lagos on the 11th of February 1956 to the aristocratic family of Chief and Princess Durosimi of Irewe Town in Ojo local government area, Badagri Division. Her mother hails from the Fafunwa Onikoyi royal family of Ita Onikoyi in Idumota, Lagos Island. Her father was a member of the defunct Action Group, AG and Unity Party of Nigeria, UPN, thus making him a long-time disciple of Chief Obafemi Awolowo. Due to her maternal ancestry, the former deputy governor bears the Yoruba traditional title, Omoba. She began her early education at the Unity Assembly Primary School at Papa and secondary education at the Awuri Ajeromi Secondary School. She commenced her sojourn in the teaching profession at the then Lagos State College of Education. Ijani King, now Adeniro Gusonya College of Education in 1980, where she obtained the National Certificate of Education, NCE, and later proceeded to the University of Lagos, Akoka, where she obtained her Bachelor of Arts in English Education, BA Ed degree, in 1988, and a Master's degree in Adult Education, MED, in 1989. Her determination to keep abreast with technology led her in 2004 to proceed for an advanced diploma in information technology program at the Lagos City Computer College. She also served as the Commissioner of Education in Lagos State. As a member of the National Youth Service Corps, Princess Sarah Debussy Chausson taught at the St. Leo's Secondary School at Belkuta Ogun State as a classroom teacher, while her sergeant in the Lagos State Public Service started in January 1989 when she was employed by the then Lagos State Post Primary Teaching School Commission, PP Tescom, as a Master Grade 2, a classroom teaching appointment. Between 1990 and 1999, Mrs. Shoshan left the four walls of the classroom and served as a Principal Education Officer at the Lagos State Ministry of Education and then moved to the defunct State Primary Education Board now Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board, L. Sabeb, as an Assistant Board Secretary. Later in the year 2006, when the State Primary Education Board transformed to the Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board, she was redeployed to the Department of Communication and Information Technology. As the head of department there, she was saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that Computer education and training was given the attention it deserved in Lagos State Public Primary Schools. She was appointed to the position of Deputy Governor by Babatunde Fashola in 2007. She is married with three children, Ulubenga, Fumi and Rotimi Shoson. In an interview at High Koyu Residence in Lagos State, conducted by B.O.S. Dakbo Latilo, first taken after his father, Princess Sarah Debussy Chausson OFR bared her mind on a wide range of issues. How time flies! It's already six years since Princess Sarah Debussy Chausson left office as the Deputy Governor of Lagos State. She takes an introspective appraisal of her time in office and what she's up to these days. I've been very well. I've been fine. Uh, I've been pursuing things I love doing and celebrating with people in the society in one word i'm quite good although from a very well-known family active politically princess sarah debussy chausson's foray into politics happened accidentally she gives her scorecard in politics so can you tell us when your drives for politics kicked in <laughs> what were the factors and uh, considering the masses view on it how you still pursue this? Um, my coming into politics was not actually planned. I come from, I've always answered this question that I come from a family that are all politicians. They love politics. They are people oriented. And considering our background that we come from the part of Lagos that is still rural, River Rhine, River Rhine area, they felt they should be in the forefront to get what is necessary for their people. And by stroke of luck and by the grace of God, 
in my walk of life, it happened that I have to be caught up in politics as well. It wasn't that something I planned originally as a person to be a politician. Though I involved myself when the time for uh, active politics is on, that is electoral uh, campaigns and uh, electioneering activities, I involved myself even in spite, we were very young, we've been drawn into it even as young children. It's something that is discussed around us, something that is discussed in our homes and our uncles and everything. So it's something I've been familiar with, but not something I planned that I would be a politician. But to God be the glory, God's ways are not open to men. Oh, yeah. So one way or the other, I got drawn into it and I've enjoyed every bit of it. Princess Sarah Debussy Chausson was for six years the second most important person in Lagos State under the able leadership of Mr. Babatunde Raji Fashola, during which a lot was accomplished. Princess Debussy Chausson praised the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, who is a major inspiration to her. Princess Sarah Debussy Chausson, who described former Governor Fashola as a man of great wisdom, said, Working with him was a very useful learning curve for her, an experience she will cherish eternally. I want to thank God for those who are leaders, especially our national leader, our father, our uncle. Is everything to many of us. Ashwa Jubala met Inumbu, that is a gifted man by God. That is like God gives him that insight, that thing. That is inborn for him to always, he picks the right people for the right places. As a party leader, not that he picks on his own, at least by the time he say, why not we try this? And he asks the people around him, they come up with an appropriate candidate or person to fill such positions. And my working together was with um, the former governor, Mr. Fashola. BRF for short, was really, really an eye-opener, was really, really valuable experience for me because I got to learn a lot through him. He's a young man, younger than I, but he's full of wisdom, he's knowledgeable, and God has been, God is good to him because when he advises you do it this way and you go that way, the results are always fantastic. So my experience working with him was, is something I cherish till today and that has been valuable to me in my relationship with people, in my post office experience. It's been very, very valuable. Apart from combining the responsibility of the education ministry with other chairs, Princess Sarah Debussy Chausson's tenure as the Deputy Governor of Lagos State was marked by inspection and supervision of projects in the different parts of the state. This gave her the opportunity to reach out, interact and socialize with the people of Lagos State from all strata. From the hindsight of six solid years of operating through the vantage position of Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Princess Sarah Debussy Chausson OFR, from where she observed things at very close quarters, gives tips on how she thinks the society can be a better place. You see, the times I enjoy most yes. during that period is when we go out monitoring our projects, or when we go out, as we all go out in one bus, in a coaster bus, you know, it allows you people to, team to, 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 to yes, it, the, the team spirit is there, and it allows you to just let down airs. You, you feel as equals, even the governor, every one of us, we chit chat, we just, even the work we do, we joke over it, so it makes you feel so relaxed. It's a very good, very good way of working with your team. So those are, anytime I remember, especially some of my colleagues then, because while we are going on the way, the governor will really see something to pick upon. And those who offices, their ministries are mostly affected. 
like environment, like they are Greek, um, you know, environment has to do with, we will see litters, when you see refuse or you see anything, you see any gutter or drain that it doesn't, the governor will talk. I said, ah, where are those? So many of them don't like sitting in the bus with him. They will want to go to the next bus because we normally use two buses. And those people say, mm, if I'm that bus, the governor will start seeing uh, these cows walking along. There was a time we saw, and even the commissioner just said, mm, I don't know. I want to say it to you, but because, mm, in my any governor, my name, to my mama, my look, it is, you know, that kind of thing. So it's always very, very relaxing. And at the same time, we are sharing knowledge. And we are, on, we are working because we go out to monitor our projects or maybe to commission projects and so on. So those times were so we are beautiful times. I, can, I, cherish, I cherish those moments very well. Princess Sarah Debussy shows some oil faro who without doubt has stamped her feet firmly on the ground as a very strong voice to be reckoned with among women politicians, speaks to her fellow women to go into politics with their heads high up and make integrity and dignity their watchword so that they will be respected. Female legislators in the House of Representatives as a crazy as well. It's not something that we are happy about. I'm not happy about it. Because when you consider our um, contribution to national politics and our performances in different states nationally, generally, our women, I really commend them and I give them kudos. Women have proved that they are good managers and this they have done in their various um, positions as politicians and they are still doing it. Even those who are not elective, that are given appoint, appointments, they are doing very well. You know, women, they, they want to outshine that because of, I'm a woman, I must do much more than a man. So they are doing it. What advice will I give? I just want to say, our uh, women, they should not give up, especially the younger ones. Because many young ladies will go, ah, Excuse me, it's nice meeting with you. And I want to go into politics as well. But because I said no but, if it's what you like doing, if it's your passion, go for it. There is nothing that is served a la carte eh, on a plate. You have to struggle for everything in life. That is the structure of creation. So they should not give up. If it is what they want in life, they should go for it. They should go for it, go for it with integrity. It's all due process. They should not cut corners and they will come out well. And their visibility should start now. If you are saying, oh, in two years' time I want to be a politician, they, their visibility should start now. They should start being part of it from the grassroots because being a grassroots politician is the best. Your people will know you. So, and if you don't do anything for your people, they will know, they'll be able to assess you. As an educationist of note, does Princess Mrs. Sarah Debussy Chosson have any plans to establish a school? She delved into how she began life and what inspired her into the teaching profession after she left the civil service. Princess Sarah Chosson said, to crown all her efforts as a well-trained teacher, she hopes to set up a non-elitist school where the values she has always craved to see among the young ones will be imparted in them. I came in into teaching by accident. And from then, I've grown to love teaching. And I've tried my best to be that diligent teacher. Even as a grade two, because I started as a grade two teacher. Teaching in the primary school, in the secondary school. And doing part-time teaching even with the university and subsequently meanwhile like i said i work in the classroom and i worked my way up as a teacher and i've never regretted i've never regretted any time in time being a teacher i've enjoyed it all because when you just you relate you know we are complex 
the human being is complex. And when you just compare different people and the different ideas, different thoughts, it amuses you most of the time and it makes you to grow well in life. So that's what teaching has done to me. And if I would want to, if I had been buoyant enough, I would have established my own school. I established my own school where I think the ideals I expect will be taught. And I will make the school to be accessible to many children. It won't be the elitist one that we have all over. And it will be the kind of schools that many of us went to, attended in the past. But unfortunately, I don't have that kind of money to have a school. But if I get a sponsor, I wouldn't mind. And it gets land in any good place. <laughs> a very big question mark would have hung around an interview with a well-recognized voice in education matters without a pointed question to Princess Mrs. Sarah Adebisi Shoson on the issue of either scrapping or returning the National Youth Service Corps NYC program, given the ongoing debates surrounding the matter. Although Princess Sarah Shoson admits that the NYC scheme has helped in the area of national integration and unity over the years. The authorities should take a serious look at all the areas that need to be improved upon urgently to avoid exposing young graduates to life-threatening conditions and situations, as have been experienced of recent in the NYC scheme. The scheme itself has really achieved its objective. I know many people enjoyed the national service, youth service that, especially those who finished in the 70s, 80s, 90s. But the world has really changed and most things have changed. And I'm sure even most of them that go for NYSC is because it is compulsory and it's because the job is not there for many of them that they still go out for. Um, because when we hear what they go through, that even uniforms are scarce, getting the allowances, and many bodies are reluctant even to get. It's a very good scheme, in the sense that it's an integration for different tribes in the country. And it's a sort of you having a post-school skill, post -school skills. Like a doctor, you practice what's and in the process, you show the community that you care because you do community development projects. So it's a good project itself, but the funding, it has to be reviewed, whether they are going to scale it down, so that the our students, these children that go out there, the parents will be at peace that my child is going there, my child is secured, my child, we have good welfare. There was one that was published. We saw you coppers on the floor of your classroom. If there are no funds to do it any longer, then we should scrap it. It is bad to expose those children to those kind of... I'm not saying, I'm not advocating for luxury things. But minimal comfort will be okay. Princess Sarah Debussy Chausson gave an insight into the Sarah Chausson Foundation, which she set up after leaving office. The main aim is to reach out to people through empowerment, and Fura to teach leadership skills among them are also included. In fact, the launching of the Sarah Chausson Foundation will be the main highlight of her forthcoming 61st birthday anniversary. Mentoring programs will be organized for young ladies. So I left office at age of 55. And that's still an age that I choose to continue working. The retirement age is 60. And so I need to find something to occupy myself. And what else can I do if not my education? So that was what prompted me to establishing my company, GFR Educational Services Limited, to do what I know best. And the second one has to do with my passion for the youth, 
for upliftment of people. And my Sarah Adebisi Shosan Foundation is a platform to do that. And uh, through that, we'll be organizing, I organize leadership forum for the youths and for the women, because they are the mothers, they are the nation watchers. I won't say the builders, but watchers as well. They want to see that everything is working. So, and many mothers go through a lot to keep their families. So we empower them by teaching them what and what they can do. And as well as looking for help to set them up in their businesses or for them to expand their businesses. So those are the kind of things I'll be doing with my foundation. And I've been doing this in collaboration with members of my BOT, some very important personalities in the society that have that passion for touching lives, for empowering people, transforming lives, and so on and so forth. When asked her favorite fashion brand, Princess Sarah Debussy Shoson went to town to make a very strong case for the Made in Nigeria brand because of its originality. She emphasized that every Nigerian should be very proud to be an ambassador that projects everything Nigerian in all they do. Nigerian women are so fashionable. They look well, they look good. Sometimes you can't even tell the age. And this, I don't have a particular brand. I'm made in Nigeria. So and I go for made in Nigeria to look good to the best of my ability. That's what I do. Princess Sarah Adebisi Shoson OFR hopes that through the Sarah Shoson Foundation, she will be able to reach out to more people in the society. See, anyone that clocks this in Nigeria is worth celebration. And that I did by thanking God for being alive, for being who I am, and what I've been able to do in my society. As 61, I continue to reflect and continue to think of what can I do? What can I use my life to impact more? Like the Christian song that says, So I still want to do more to the glory of God, especially affecting lives positively. So for this year, through my foundation, we are planning to do a mentoring program for young ladies young ladies that they have what they want to do but they don't know how to go about it so i would go around with them to meet some top board women women board members or chairmen of boards so that they meet with them they talk with them they ask questions that is what i intend to do for my first birthday by the grace of god